If you're looking for the absolute cheapest coins right now in Madden 22, head on over to AOEAH.com and use code Poodle at checkout. Don't miss out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best free 88 overall Ultimate Kickoff players to actually choose. Now, I was going to try to get this video in yesterday, but I had a very busy day. And quite honestly, most of you guys probably don't get the free players to day two, three, four, or five, anyways, because obviously, like, the yard is going to take some time. The solos take some time. Objectives take some time. So I was like, you know what? At least I know you guys probably aren't. Many of you aren't at that point yet. And if you are, you're probably pretty serious about this and probably had a good idea about who you wanted anyways. But nonetheless, guys, before we get into today's video, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, you want to be shouted out on the Poodle Squad. All you got to do is like the video. Comment down below Poodle Squad. And of course, be subbed and have the noti bell on. Today's Poodle Squad member goes out to Mr. Nike. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support each and every day. Nonetheless, let's get into this, guys. We have a few players I do really, really like. I'm in the process of finishing up all my solos and objectives and taking mine as well. Now, I have some things, guys. Here's the thing. Here's my personal take on free players. If you're going for the best free player or you're going for the most efficient free player, two different questions. I usually do my top five with a mix of both. Now, what do I mean by that? It's very simple. The most efficient player is the player that's going to the best bang for your buck in terms of how long they'll last your team how like not wasting a player right you could go like let's say back with the team builders right you could have taken deshaun jackson 89 speed and be like oh he's so fast like so good and then a few days later got me at like the jamar chase and everything from the leveling up and doing everything you're like oh, okay well i don't need him anymore off the team or you could have taken a team builder such as like a left guard or a center or tackle and you could still be using them to this day and they'll still be pretty decent and you would be like okay that was a good use of my of my my resources right so that's my thing so for me personally guys i have a few ways to think about this if you're a budget team like a really budgety team and you can't afford good players sometimes you want to just take the best player available take the fastest player take the player that you can actually win a game with if you have a pretty average squad like you're a no money spent team not budget but you're, you're no money spent you make it work go for the most efficient player always go for the most efficient player because again if you have a pretty good you want to make sure that you can make your coins matter right you don't want to take a quarterback and a running back well knowing in a week you're going to want the new quarterback and running back so now you wasted your free players and then you spent coins the quarterback and running back anyways when you could have taken like a left guard and defensive tackle and saved your coins there and then got your quarterback and running back and now you have four players versus two be efficient second of all if you're a god squad this all comes down to need take a fourth string wide receiver take a take take depth if you're if you're a god squad always take depth because you know that you're gonna be replacing the quick god squads don't care how fit you there's no efficiency right no money spent team will be efficient a god squad is gonna be like okay you're upgrading your team daily like daily weekly so you want to go in thinking like this right okay so the best cornerback here let's say is this speed guy um i have Darrell revis and i have dion have these guys but he currently or like i have, I have Darrell revis right now he could play my second string or my third he may get bumped quickly, but at least cornerbacks, you could play up to four, even five. They get really tired, right? Or let me take a safety because he could play a linebacker. Or let me take a tight end because I do play two. A lot of my formations have two. Let me take a backup running back in case one gets tired. Like, you have to think like that. So take the best player for a, a depth position, a wide receiver, a tight end, um, defensive tackle. So you guys, let me get the back. I don't even use defensive tackles on a God squad, but I'll take the backup for ratings. Or you don't use linebackers, but your overall won't get up without it take a high take a high overall linebacker right those are the ways to really think about all this now here's the thing let's get into the rankings here's my number five guy that actually may on my list be my number one it really comes down to you guys so this is what i talk about when i, when I say efficiency but guys i didn't want to throw this in there because i did just get notification that there will be make rights coming out which again wasn't my morning video but hopefully you guys can do some good you know some use with this on wednesday september 8th from 10 30 a.m eastern time to 3 10 eastern time the description of the 12 times clutch bundle is incorrect once the issue was identified the bundle was removed from the store and the proper description was updated any player that purchased a 12 times clutch bundle which is the big one during the impacted time from 10 30 a.m eastern time on september 8th to 3 10 p.m will receive the following you get six 80 plus overall player items per bundle purchase thank you for your patience as our teams work to identify the impacted players we're targeting to send this out later in the day so if you're watching this video guys on september 10th you will be seeing it later today hopefully that's the target it could be the next day you know how this goes if you did do all those things guys make sure it was the 12 times bundle people will ask the six one clutch pack another 12 times bundle however many you open you will get that times amount of the six times 80 pluses which isn't bad you could probably pull a pretty good player out of there maybe even ltd julio who knows but yeah it's better for that i'm taking Corey lindsley um in my personal opinion why who would i take with my campus year free player if you guys are wondering i took john hannah why did I take Hannah? Because Hannah 
is a 90 overall powered up left guard who can probably be on my team for a few months. And why is that? This game is all about thresholds. You're either above 90, you're below 90, or you're a 99. And Hannah hit some 90s. So that means that he's going to play very good and play threshold for quite a while. So that's it. I locked left guard down for a few months. Let's say I had taken Vince Young, right? Vince Young, arguably one of the best picks. Or Joey Galloway, right? Joey Galloway literally would have been good for about a week. Calvin Johnson better than Joey Galloway. Taller. Matches up just about in speed with the speed cam and everything. Calvin took a spot. Free Tyreek, 91 speed. I'd rather have the free Tyreek. And then you have Devin Hester. It's over. I don't even want Galloway anymore. I really don't. It would just be dumb for me on my, my team. That's, I'm not no money spent, but I'm also not like a God squad, right? So for me, it'd be dumb to take Joe Galloway. Let's say Vince Young. Barely better than Daniel Jones. Barely an upgrade. In like a week or so, we're going to get another good quarterback. And that's it. Vince Young's, Vince Young's done again. Again, if you're a God squad and you're constantly changing, I guess it's cool for you. But I like to take efficiency. So for me, Corey Lindsay's the guy. For me, he's, he's my pick five because I know not most people think like this. For me, he's pick five, guys. Why? Powered up again, 89 overall center. Put him and Hannah together. That's it. Your interior line's almost done. You have you can get like four of these guys too, right? So you can get the right guard. You can get this. You can make a whole line off these guys and be set at it. And what position do people hate buying the most in Madden? Arguably, right? I think it's the offensive line. Because you get an offense, you have a bad offensive line. You get sacked a lot, your run game is not good. Sometimes you buy, you spend, you can, to get a good offensive line at 150k to 200 k piece, you can spend a million coins on a whole offensive line. A lot of damn coins. They're not exciting because you never get to play with them, right? They play for they play on their own, right? You never get to play with them. And then you still get sacked sometimes. So you hate upgrading them. So why not just take the free ones? If they work, if the offensive line does matter, well, there you go. You have some. If they don't matter, well, there you go. They're free. It's my personal opinion. Let me get into this, though. Powered up encounter guys who have 90 plus awareness, which I like. He'll have above 90 pass block. He'll have close enough run blocking and pass blocking that a strategy card should get him over the top. Very simple why I like him. Impact blocking, lead blocking, high 80s. He's a center. He's a position that people hate buying. Just my personal take. Now, again, guys, for me personally, if you guys have my theory, I may actually end up going and taking all four of my players as offensive linemen just to have the line stacked out. That may be where I go with this. But next on the list, guys, again, because we can't, it's, it's this list, and not everyone's going to think like that. Desmond Trufant is my next guy on this list uh, for a lot of people. Not for myself, again, but he gets 89 speed. So powered up, he will have a 90 speed, 91 excel, which for a lot of no money spent, for a lot of budgety guys, even for some god squads, he could make good. He's good as a, he's a depth position. He's going to be a safe pick. And, of course, his man zone and press a play record are all above 80, so you will get some decent 80 overall animations there, as well as decent catching. He's 6 feet tall. He's 190. But I think the most important thing here is that he's going to be fast, and he's free, and free speed's always good speed, right? Next, guys, another guy. Again, same situation. Now, for me, again, because of the wide receiver situation this year, wide receivers have been just overly saturated, so I've had no reason to take any. But, again, most people can't afford Calvin. Most people may not be able to finish Hester. They don't play enough or they don't have enough time. And then other people may not have gotten the Tyreek. So, in that situation, Will Fuller is your budgety Tyreek. He will get powered up and chemmed up 91 speed. So, that's Tyreek speed. He will get the same level of catching that Tyreek has. He's 6 feet tall, very similar to all that stuff. And his deep out running is going to be an 89 powered up. Get a strategy cut on him. You have Tyreek Hill. This is baby Tyreek Hill. This is a free way to get Tyreek Hill. So if you couldn't get the other Tyreek Hill, I highly recommend you take advantage of this offer right here. Take him for free. Will Fuller, again, free speed, good speed. Similar to Trufant. Next, guys, another really good card, which again, if you don't have this again, I have pits, so I'm not, I don't care for this card personally, but a lot of people may not have pits. A lot of people may not be able to finish for Kittle, and Waller certainly is too expensive even for myself. Gerald Everett, tight end for the Rams. Not a I mean, Seahawks, sorry. Not bad. He gets... 86 speed, 85 catchings, 245 pounds. He's six foot three. He's a very well-rounded tight end with good speed. Because again, if it's, you don't have Waller, who's insanely expensive, right? And you don't have Kittle because that's level 50. That's impossible for a lot of people right now. Even myself, it's taken a while unless you want to throw, you know, the same pass over and over again or kick field goals again, which is, still takes a long time. Uh, this is probably the fast time that you can get. If you didn't get Pitts, right? Pitts is like 300K right now, 250K. Pitts is too expensive unless you got him for free. So my personal opinion, Everett's your guy. That, that's just my take on that as well. Everett's really good for a free tight end. Gonna be, be gonna be faster than like he's again it's almost the same speed as like season master Kittle, right? So it's really not bad there either. And then for the first guy on the list, which I actually really do like, and that's gonna be which I clicked the wrong position, is Adrian Amos. I think he's really good every year. He's a budgety beast. This is a guy that even I would consider on my team. Now, the only reason again that I'm hesitant is because I already have Darnell Savage as my backup, which Darnell Savage actually compares pretty similarly 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 i always say that word weird compares very closely to adrian amos same team as well but the biggest thing here is that i already i have ed reed i have sean taylor and i have cam chancellor so i'm pretty stacked at safety so this isn't exactly the biggest target on my list but i do know he's probably the best one to take for a few reasons right he hits all the things i'm telling you about efficiency for the most part he hits the depth 
and he hits one of the top players in the promo right uh for an 88 that that's the thing that there's always a player that hits everything right and he's one of them he's going to get good speed all right powered up of an 89 speed 89 excel so he gets the speed six feet tall 214 good weight and height he gets the high play record an 88 powered him chemed up 88 zone gets the high zone and gets above 80 hit power which makes him a say he can play in the box he can play linebacker and if you look on down a little bit more you can go ahead he has 84 change of direction and his blocks is coming at 67 which isn't great but again adrian amos is good so again for most teams guys adrian amos will be the best pick you're going to get him at you could put him at strong safety free safety middle linebacker backup safety he could play at a lot of different places so i feel like let's say right now you don't have your cam done right and you can't afford ed reader taylor he probably could start for you and then let's say you do get ed reader taylor or another guy you knock him down to the other safety spot then you get another guy you knock him down to the linebacker and you just you have to sell the other guy to knock him back up he's gonna be good all year good for solos good on the kickoff team just a good card i like him a lot for me personally though guys like i said because of my safety situation everything i'm giving you guys the best players you should take but again for me personally i'm probably going i, I love my free players i take i love using free players at positions i don't like upgrading it makes life easier for me i can spend a million coins on sean taylor and calvin when my entire line is free my entire defense you know this thing is free my linebackers are free that's just my personal take on it but thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and thank you for watching i'm out enjoy the rest of your day peace Thank you.